Hello and welcome to my February recommendations. The recommendations group was created by Trina and Kayla. I'll leave both the links down below and also the Goodreads group so you can join us because it is really fun and it's just one topic each month. So the topic for February is OTPs which if you don't know stands for one true pairing. I think it can be both like romantically but also just friendship wise. I don't have a lot of recommendations this month because I don't have a lot of OTPs. I like a lot of couples, but I don't have, yeah, a lot of OTPs that I would just be like ride or die for. But I'm gonna share with you the ones that I do have. So the first one I want to share with you isn't romantically but friendship wise OTP and it is Harry Potter and Luna Lovegood because I think they are amazing together. I really feel like their friendship is so strong and it's amazing how they play off each other and I just really love them as friends but I don't think they would work romantically. The second couple is from my favorite trilogy of all times, The Infernal Devices and I am a huge shipper of Tessa and Jim. I know, I know, don't kill me, I know I think most people ship Tessa with Will, but I ship her with Jim so so much and I love them together and I don't know if it's because I love Jim so much or if it's because I feel like those are, well, those two are the greatest couple, but I really ship them a lot and it's just, I just love them. I love, I think I love all the characters in that series to be honest. There are so many great characters and another OTP from the Infernal Devices is Gideon Lightwood and Sophie, what's her name? Sophie Collins. <laughs> Sophie Collins. Those two, I think perhaps I ship them even more than Tessa and Jim because I just love them and just all the stupid things that Gideon does just to talk to Sophie is just so sweet. A bit stupid, yeah, but so so sweet. The next OTP is Island and March from the Spotless series by Camilla Monk. This series isn't done yet, it has one more book to come out before it's done and it's gonna be a quadrilogy, so four books, and I just love them together. I think one of the things that I really love about them is that they challenge each other and they aren't like a perfect match from the get-go and it isn't insta-love or something like that. But they really change each other and brings out the best in each other and I really, really love that. And the final couple I want to mention is Ty and Amy from the Heartland series by Lauren Brooke. And I think I've just shipped these two characters way before I knew what shipping was because I read the series when I was a kid and I just wanted them to be together and I was like why are you not together please get together and then they finally got together and it was amazing and glorious and there's particularly one book I don't even remember right now which one it is but there's this book where they go to a party and they dance and they feel like everything just shuts out and it's just the two of them and it's so, so cliche but it's so good. That was it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to comment, like and subscribe and hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye bye.